Here I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to get started and use some of the features of the Control Station Loop Pro software. So you'll have a, once you install the software, you'll have a couple of options of, um, of programs to load. There's Loop Pro, or it could be Loop Pro Trainer, and then Loop Pro Case Studies. So if we click on the Loop Pro Case Studies, what you'll see is we'll load um, a few different simulations that we can do on various processes. So shown here are some single loop simulations and then if you scroll down you'll see some cascade or multi-loop. And so for now we'll just start on the heat exchanger. So I'm going to click on view the simulation and automatically it'll load the simulation. Um, I'm going to make this run a little bit faster. I'll pause it for a second. And I'm also going to expand the viewing window to about 25 minutes. Um, at the same time, if you want to do fitting, now we can use just this software alone to vary things like um, the control valve position, the disturbance valve position up here, or change the controller settings. Um, but what I want to do first is open up the control station, the Loop Pro, um, the other file that's just Loop Pro or Loop Pro Trainer. And this will allow us to do things like fit the data to different models or do tuning using um, internal tuning methods. So we'll click on here the live data and so what I need to do is open up the same simulation type. So here we're going to find the case studies, the single loop heat exchanger and I'm going to select this file and get this open. And so now these will be synchronized with the same data. All right, so back on the simulation side, I'm right here. If I click over here, I'm looking at the, uh, the data that's coming out of the simulation file. So let's just, uh, let's first let's let this run for a minute and work through a couple uh, doublet tests that are used to fit a file. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this controller output. I'm going to step it down by about 2%, and then I'm going to wait for it to respond. Let's let this go a little faster. Um, and then once it responds fully, I'm going to go back to 39, but up to 41 instead. Let it respond, and then once it settles out, and then I'm going to let it bring it back to my initial position. All right, so now from here we can see uh, a couple of things. We can see how the uh, outlet temperature responds to changing the, uh, the cooling water flow rate into the heat exchanger. So if we look over at the heat exchanger, we can explore a couple things that are on here. We can change the valve position for this warm liquid. That'll also affect the temperature. Uh, we can also look in here if we click on the this PID, this opens up the controller and in here we have a variety of features that we can look at. Um, this right here gives us a summary of some of the conditions. We can go to configuration. We can change the mode of the controller from manual to, to automatic. We can change the controller action. These are various things that we're going to learn throughout the course, um, all the things that are shown on here. Uh, you can also see some other things that are shown on here that are useful, like our set point here, it's about 140 degrees for an output bias of 39%. Um, as you work through some of the workshops, they'll, they'll focus on some of these different features. Here we can change the controller settings, etc., and then apply feed forward. We're not gonna look at all that right now. So now let's just switch over to the um, Loop Pro Trainer, and what I want to do on this axis also is I want to change the ax axis to show also about 25 minutes. I need to see the whole window of where I want to fit. Um, if we want to do fitting, we can click up here on fitting, and then again, just select the range over which you want the fitting to occur. Um, this looks okay. We can see here, here's our, our first order plus dead time model. We can change the model to various models. We can see the properties of the model, um, and then that's, that's shown here. Um, if we want to go ahead and tune the controller, again, we're not going to do this until later in the course. Um, we can come to this screen and we can select the controller setting, P only, PI, PID, with a filter, etc. cetera. Um, vary the controller setting from uh, aggressive to more conservative and look at the general response. So. You know, these are, these are going to be things that we're going to study through the semester and through doing various workshops. So, let's see, that's a, a few things to get us started. Let me close out on this window and come back to the simulation. Um, there's other things that you can do here. Um, you can also, you also may need to save 
your data to a file. And if you save data to file, we can use using the uh, Loop Pro Trainer instead of opening, I'm gonna flip this load for a second. Instead of opening live data, we can tune from files. So we can open up a data from a file that we set. And so we'll need to do that for feed forward and some other things later on. So hopefully this helps you get started. Um, we'll chat more about this later.